Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna talk about this fish crap soil conditioner that I got right over here. I don't know if you guys could see that. I'm gonna talk to you guys what I think about the bottle, but first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM and Mars Hydro for all your horticultural needs. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, Always, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you want to come and sesh with us, check out our grows and just chill with us. Follow us on Instagram. Link to that will also be in the description below. So all this time, we've been running two different series with this fish crap stuff, and I just never really talked about it, and you guys have been asking about it. And for the last year, I mean, everybody and their brother has been using this fish crap soil conditioner. So you know what? I figured I would just, you know, give it a try. So I I usually go to my local hydroponic shop maybe once or twice a month and one time I went in there and I saw the fish crab like it was just like this one one end cap and it was just nothing but this fish crab so I figured you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out why not right so we're gonna be talking about the ratios and how much you should apply in just a little bit but I wanted to talk to you guys about what the fish crab actually is and I'm the type of guy that's got to do research before buying the product because I didn't want to use something for my plants that I really didn't know what it was even though a lot of people said that it was good stuff so like I said I have to know exactly what I'm giving my plants at all times it's just one thing that I learned when I got into growing my first few years. Now, I don't want to get off topic, but like even when I was using the Fox Farm stuff, I was giving my plants stuff that I didn't even know anything about. And I kind of, one day I was just like, you know what? Why am I giving my plants this stuff? Let me do some research on it. And that's when I started to understand like all the different things that your plants needed. And you know, that's why I always like to know what I'm giving my plants. So let's talk about what exactly is this fish crap. Now, from what I read, it's pretty much feeding the tilapia fish a certain kind of feed. So when it takes a dookie, you get the beneficial bacteria from it. I mean, they said it a little bit nicer, but that is what it is. Like the tilapia fish gets some kind of mix of feed that provides this stuff. It's like straight up, living biology in a bottle which is why if you look at the bottle it always says it's an ecosystem in a bottle and says it like right up there I don't know if you guys can see it come on focus there we go <laughs> And that's pretty much what it means though, so uh, they're not wrong. If you notice, anything that's made from fish is just good for your plants. I mean, I don't know, at least it seems that way, right? I know some of you guys in the comment section were talking about using pond water. I figure it has something to do with, you know, fish being in pond water. And you already know that I like the top dress with the down to earth fish bone meal. I kind of have it like right behind me over there. And now, you can have this fish crap on top of it. So it just seems like, I mean, this is all just some killer stuff, right? Now, I am not here to sell you a bunch of crap that doesn't work, no pun intended. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Kinda wish I was, because this stuff is really good and I would not recommend anything to you guys if I don't trust it for myself. And I've been using it for a good solid four months or so and my plants, Absolutely, they just always loved it. And I was looking on the website and supposedly it's supposed to increase your yield up to 20% and increase flavor. So I don't know how true that is, but after harvesting the GDP and the gelato, let's just say that it's been really good. I've also been giving it to my California Dream and my blue cheese, and you guys saw the photos on Instagram. They're absolutely thriving right now. But as far as the GDP and the gelato, I was really happy with the yield. We got like eight O's, give or take. And if you look on my Instagram, page I have a four liter sea vault filled to the top with GDP and actually it overfilled not only did it I mean it overfilled so much that I had to put the rest of the stuff in one of my dank tank jars I'm sure you guys saw that on IG as well but I mean not only the yield but the flavor I'm getting I mean it's straight up amaze balls okay so like I said I absolutely do recommend the fish crab for anybody that's starting out or that's been growing for a long time now let's talk about how much you should apply in your feed I know on the website it has a whole bunch of different ratios but I was just kind of playing around with it with the different ratios and I I feel like half a teaspoon per gallon is the best ratio. Sometimes I'll go between half teaspoon, three quarter, or I'll just use a whole teaspoon straight up. That should definitely be enough and you can mix it with your teas. You can apply it to every single watering if you want. I mean, that's what I do. It's, I mean, it's just really great stuff. I know I keep saying it's great stuff, but I would actually have to say that this fish crap is one of the few things out there that I can speak nothing but great stuff about. Now for every good thing, there's always going to be a drawback like everything else in life, right? 
On the downside, it is pretty expensive stuff, but I'm a sole believer in getting what you pay for. I think I paid like $17, $18 for the smallest bottle. I think that was like 120 milliliter. But make sure that you don't get the smallest bottle because this stuff runs out very quickly. So just look at it as an investment. Don't get the 120 milliliter bottle like I did. I would either get the 250 milliliter bottle or up. That way you don't feel like you're constantly wasting money. So this is the 250 milliliter bottle. The 120 milliliter bottle, it almost looks like it's 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 up to here this short and like half skinny, if, if that makes sense. You guys have seen the bottle, you know what I mean? So the 250 milliliter bottle is good. If you want to get a bigger one, then go ahead. It's, it, it's all an investment. So that's all I'm trying to say. Do not get the smallest bottle. It, you're gonna be back in the hydro store in like two weeks. Trust me, I'm telling you this because I made that very same mistake. I bought a $17, 120 milliliter bottle and I ended up having to go back to the store two weeks later and get another bottle. So. I ended up getting a 250 milliliter bottle, you know, like you just see right here. And I used about maybe a quarter of it right now. There's still a lot in here left. And I have a feeling somebody is going to ask this question because I know it's something that I would ask. It's something that I definitely had a question on before I started using the fish crap. And that is if you can flush with fish crap or should you just flush with straight up water? And I recommend adding the fish crap when you're flushing your plants because from what I've read, it does help break down salts and nutrient buildup. But I think if you're running organically you probably won't have that issue as much but you know I mean don't quote me on that all right I feel like ever since I've been growing organically I just haven't had as much issues with salt buildup or having to flush nearly as often as I would with the synthetic stuff like I think even when I started using the Fox Farm nutrient line you know the dirty dozen I was flushing maybe every three weeks or so it's just the salt buildup was crazy you know like I, I always got locked out so I always had to you know, always had the flush, always had the flush, but that's that's not really the case with the organic stuff. Now, as far as what series we started using the fish crap, I think, no, I think it was the Skittles series, and I think it was halfway through the Skittles series, so I think like around April, and we're in August now, so, you know, it's around four months or so, and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so that's my review of the fish crap organic soil conditioner. Hopefully that answers a lot of your questions that you had, so that way you can decide whether you want to buy the fish crap or not. Ah, you see that? right I'm giving you options right here I'm not telling you to go out and buy it no 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 I'm giving you options on it now before I close off today's video I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on patreon since February I really appreciate the love and support all right guys so I'm gonna close off today's video be sure to drop a fat thumbs up drop that fat like and subscribe for more content if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you guys on Tuesday and as always stay safe peace